talk a bit about variations. The one is called the Z spin. And sometimes this one works a little, can help people to understand also the 3D weave just because it's a variation of it. So what all that's happening with this one is my right hand is gonna start in my weaving position. And where I would do the thumb flip on my left side, I'm just gonna do a Z spin, okay? And finish my weave. Okay, and right, this is the same thing. It comes from your palm facing towards you and it kind of like unwinds. So your palm facing out and then back to the side again. And it comes next to you, up, put your palm to the front and then to the back and down, okay. I'm just kind of doing it slow-mo so you can see, okay. Same thing with the left side. And once you feel nice and comfortable with your Z spins, we're gonna put them together. Okay, once again, just like a regular weave, they are following each other, okay? There is no same time going on. So my left is gonna, my right hand is gonna to come to my left side and I'm gonna spin, okay? And for this one, you will be, you'll be switching too, just like your three beat weave, so that you can complete your Z-spin on the other side, okay? So right on top, it's gonna spin. My left is gonna follow and it's gonna go on over on top so it can do its spin. And then it's gonna follow down from the bottom and my right's gonna come over, I can Z-spin. And my left is gonna uh, start leading so it ends up on top and it was gonna do its Z spin. Boop. And my right's gonna come and follow and become the leader and go on top. Spin up, lift follows and it ends up on top. So it can do its spin. Boop. And this makes an opening for my right to come out to do it like that. Okay, so. That is one variation where they just follow each other. And if you feel comfortable with both of that, you can actually do something that's called F5 beat <laughs> um, And that is just um, basically a three beat weave uh, with an extra beat, right? Because two beat weave is one, two, right? One, two. And then a three beat weave is one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, five beat weave adds a little grip change in into it. And I'll show you what it looks like first. So I'm doing a three beat weave. I actually grab <laughs> and spin and then you go again. Okay, so there we go. Whoop. It's just kind of weird to do it. To try to do it slowly. I'm not too fond of that one, but some people like it because it's a good way to start transitioning into other things. Um, so I think for that reason, it's a good, good trick to learn. So you have your three beat wave down. And once again, when my right is on my left side, it's on top, okay? Now, when I do this spin, the flippy here, I want to go start do yeah. I want to start going into the other one following it, right? But when my thumb is doing the inside the thumb flip and I grab on top, I bring my other one so it can grab the second hoop on top. And then they just um, switch. And you switch and then you can grab again and then your right hands on top for the other side to do the three, just do the three beat weave, okay? So I'm gonna do that once again. So my right's on top, I'm gonna to do my thumb flip, but this time I brought my second hoop nice and close by in time so that when I do my thumb flip, I can grab onto it. And I'm just gonna do one switch. So um, now my other hoop's on top. And right here, this is where it can open up 
my right hand <laughs> is going to let go and is going to grab the hoop so that the left hand is in the position of finishing the weave. Okay. All right. So let's do that one more time. So I have my, my flippity, right, from my three beat weave. And that's where the time window is for me to bring my left hand that was following nice and close. I opened my right hand when I did the flippity so I can grab on to um, the other hoop. And then I switched the hoops around so that my purple is down and my yellow is on top. And I grab it from the bottom so that my left hand can finish its weave and the right hand can let go and take the hoop, okay? And then that way it starts opening up for the other side. And the same thing is gonna happen on the, other, on the other side. So they flip, grab, switch, take it on top. The right hand takes it on top, let go. And now I'm in position to finish my three beat weave again. Okay. So let's do it on the left side, the right on top. And now we're gonna do the other side. So my left hand is coming on my right side and my right hand is following from the bottom. And I'm gonna do the flip, okay? But when I did the flip, my other hoop was there in time so that I can switch them around. And I feel like the other side is always the hardest. And um, my left is gonna let go this time, okay? And it's gonna grab the hoop right here on top and they're gonna let go. And the left can now follow the right, okay? All right, I am, that is the 5B weave. I'm actually gonna open it up to question.